When it comes to car infotainment systems, Apple CarPlay is pretty much the king. The OEM infotainment systems built into modern cars are usually pretty terrible, so it really pays if you can use your iPhone or your Android phone to control those entertainment systems. You will certainly get better navigation, you get better control over your audio, you can listen to audiobooks and podcasts. But what if you have an older car like my 1999 Land Rover Discovery? Today I'm going to show you how you can add Apple CarPlay or Android Auto to any car of any year. I've been using this product for a while now and I'm comfortable enough to tell you more about it. It's a product called Carpy Ride and I will have a link to this in the description. This adds a 7 inch touch screen to your dashboard. It does come with a suction cup mount that you can put on your windshield. Also comes with a mount that you can fasten down on any other surface and it comes with a plate that you could also mount someplace and then use the suction cup to hold it to that. I've been wondering if a device like this has existed for some time now. I myself have been really curious how well one of these would work and that's why I'm showing it to you today. It's a pretty simple device to install. Just suction cup it to your windshield and then plug it into your cigarette adapter. For my installation here, I have a second wire and that is an audio cable that comes out of the device and into my stereo system. And I'll talk a little bit about that later. The number one thing to make this device a bit nicer is that you plug the power for it into switch power. That way when you turn the car on, it automatically turns on. Otherwise, you will have to plug it in and unplug it every time you want to use it. Having it on switch power makes this a very nice device to use, and it works just as an OEM unit that would be installed into your car from the factory would work. I have the volume on my stereo turned all the way down. I don't want to get this YouTube video flagged. Right now, it automatically brought up my music. I can hit play. Now it is actually playing this music, which you can't hear because I don't want to get this video flagged. I can do things like say that I love this song, suggest less, all the normal things that you would do on your phone. Over here on the left is your most recently used applications. Here's my map screen. And at the bottom, you'll see all these icons here. This is where I can bring up my other applications that I have installed on my phone. So we can switch over to Google Maps. And in Google Maps, we can even change to a satellite view. And of course the data here is going to be much more accurate than any OEM built-in navigation system. So I love using my phone and this device gives you a good easy interface to work with your phone without having to pull it out of your pocket or set it down somewhere to adjust things. let's go back let's go into podcasts in podcasts I can actually play these without getting flagged so I can play a podcast from one of my friends Robert Kibbe I can just start and stop it from here and you can hear it's actually going through my stereo system now if you're adding this to an older car that doesn't have a stereo system this does have a built-in speaker as well so I've unplugged it now and now that I have this unplugged, the sound will actually play through the Carpy Ride itself. So let's hit play again. If we want to adjust the volume, we can click on this button. We can bring the volume down, we can mute it here. We can bring it up. Depending on how loud your car is, this built-in speaker might be loud enough. But if your stereo has an auxiliary input, such as mine does here, you can just connect it straight to the Carpy Ride. Now, one cool thing that this has is it also has an FM transmitter. So if we go back to the very main menu, this is the setup menu for the Carpy Ride. You can see you can actually plug in USB devices, you can put uh, memory cards in here with music that you can just have it play but there's a selection here called FM transmitter. And what this does is it broadcasts the audio that would be coming out of this device on the station that you have selected. 
So if I change my stereo now to 87.5, we'll actually hear the audio from my iPhone going through the car pew ride and then onto my stereo system. So you can do this all with just one power wire. You don't need this auxiliary cord, which lets you use this on any FM radio. The other thing you can do if you are installing this into an older car that doesn't even have a radio, you can pick up a small Bluetooth radio like this Treb Lab one that I've shown before. This one does have an auxiliary input right here. So I can actually plug it into this speaker and I can use this in a 1950s car, 60s car, something that doesn't have an FM stereo installed and then I can play it through there. This Bluetooth speaker also has FM radio capabilities, so I could just tune it to 87.5. It will pick up the car pew ride, and then I can set this speaker anywhere in my old car and be listening to the music from my iPhone and also be able to control it on the screen. Let's go back to the home screen. We'll click iPlay to go back to our iPhone. If we were using this with an Android device, we would use this A Auto application here. Another thing that Carpy Ride is supposed to do is it does have AirPlay. If I want to AirPlay to this, I bring up a video, say this music video, Shut Up and Drive. You should be able to select the Carpy Ride down here as an Apple TV device, and it acts like it is going to play it, but I can never get this to work. So I don't know why I can't get AirPlay to work with the Carpy Ride, but in my experience, I have not been able to figure out how to make that work. The other gripe I have with the Carpy Ride, although it hasn't been a problem, this is as bright as the screen gets. So if it's very bright outside, you may have a little trouble seeing it. I actually haven't had a problem where I couldn't see what I was doing, but I do wish that the screen got brighter than it does. This whole thing might be overkill. You could get a simple FM transmitter that plugs into your cigarette outlet. But you would have to control everything on the screen of your phone. You wouldn't be able to do it just by touching something that's on your windshield. Where this really excels is on long trips. If I come down here, I can see my map. I can see what I'm listening to. And if I have any reminders in my calendars, so they'll actually show up below here. I can just hit this button right here and it'll bring up my Siri. I can give it commands and I don't have to worry about where my phone is. And if you're traveling with someone and they want to play their music through the Carpy Ride, you can plug in a USB cable, plug it into their phone and it will automatically connect. You don't have to go through setting up anything. It will charge their phone. They can take control of the navigation, the music, audiobooks, podcasts, whatever you want to listen to. And you have virtually no setup in order to do that. Now that we have our music playing, I can come down to this selection here, and this will show us the navigation and the music controls as well. Let's try out Siri to give us navigation to a point and see how well this works. Hey Siri, give me directions to Casey's. Okay, I found a Casey's that is five minutes away, three miles. Let's hit start. And it has now drawn the navigation that I need to take to get there. I do like being able to have the satellite view. It gives me a much better look of what things should look like. If I saw a map, I might not know that there's a big parking lot here across the street. Now that we're out on the open road, we have a lot more light coming at us than we did when we were surrounded by the trees. You can see the screen is a little dark. I wish it got a little bit brighter, but I can easily still see what all this text says. And here we are. We have arrived safely to our destination, the closest Casey's to where we were. This is Carpu Ride. This is a product that lets you add Apple CarPlay or Android Auto to any car. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.